was watching one of Gerwin Price's post-match interviews, uh, one of the tournaments, and his words was, if, if you're not confident, don't bother turning up. And that just stuck. So for me, I was confident when I came here, even in the practice room. I was confident and I hoped it would just transfer it over to the stage, but the nerves just took over in the beginning. So, yeah. Did Devin message you before the game? Yes, every day. Um, I mean, he gave me some nice advice, gave me a video call this morning. Um, just before I left to take a bus, he gave me some great advice. Um, just told me to stay calm as well. Just one foot in front of the other. So, greet the crowd and do your job. And, well, yeah, it's, it's an awesome mentor to have. We've seen Devin obviously grace that stage and do great things. Now you've won on the world stage. Is this a real breakthrough moment from South African darts? The fact there's two of you now. Yes, true. Uh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm in January I want to go to Q School. Um, hopefully I can get through there. Because um, I want to play on the circuit. So that's one of my biggest, biggest dreams. So hopefully that can come through. And th well, winning my first match, it's, I, I had to prove to myself that I belong here. So, yeah. On that dream, the money, the prize money you obviously won, will that help fund yeah, well, Q School? And, and is that a huge motivation now as well? Yes, it's a very, very big motivation for my wife as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, hopefully, that, or, uh, not hopefully, it will help with uh, accommodation and you know getting me to Q School. And, uh, so. Many doors open. See the, the emotion at the end there. How does it feel to be represented in South Africa? The only South wow, it's, it's, I've never, never represented before, and uh, it's a big burden to carry, but I loved every minute of it. Uh, just the uh, experience being here and the experience going forward now, so uh, I can't wait for tomorrow. I guess the watches on TV in, in recent years. How did it feel to be up there on that it's, it's, I couldn't believe it. I was, uh, I was watching every day I was taught, so. Um, just looking, uh, watching darts and, and being up there, it, it blew my mind. <laughs> uh, as soon as I had to walk up, it uh, blew my mind immediately. So I'm really, really happy. Grant, you talked about Devin there. How much has he been, been an inspiration for you coming over here and, and playing on that stage? Uh, he's, he's always been... Uh, myself and Devin has been friends for a very, very long time. So even just before he came over, um, we had a, a regular practice session. So. Mm -hmm. So he's been making it big, so it's every boy, boy's dream back home to be like Devin. And uh, I, I'm just glad I have him in my life. So him and his dad calls me every day. Um, I call him every day if I need advice. So, I mean, he's been in my corner since day one. Since even with the qualifier, he's been in my corner. And I'm really grateful to have him as part of my life, you know, helping me with this journey. What was it like beating him in that qualifier? Because I think most people were, were obviously expecting Devon to come through. There. It was. I was I was on the back foot. Yeah. I lost the ball. <laughs> and um, both of us won our throw. So it went all the way to 5-5. Five, five, and the last leg decider, as soon as I hit that 180 to leave myself on, on 20, uh, 32, um, he hit the 180 to leave himself on, I think, 46 or so, 64 or something. Yeah. And uh, when I missed the 60, uh, double 16, double 8, and when I transferred over to double 4, I was just telling myself, just go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. <laughs> uh, it was beautiful. I, that all my, like I said, all my dreams came through in one moment.